Good afternoon. On behalf of our president, Rear Admiral Francis McDonald, trustees of the Massachusetts Maritime Academy, and the Regiment of Cadets, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Massachusetts Maritime Academy Regimental Change of Command Ceremony. My name is Lieutenant Commander Ed Pinero from the Office of the Commandant. I am your Master of Ceremonies today. The Regiment of Cadets is led by the following first class cadets. Regimental Commander Nathan Moreira, the Training Ship Commander Megan Sullivan, the Executive Officer Camille Bach, the Operations Officer Timothy O'Brien, the Adjutant Catherine O'Brien, the Training and Retention Officer Heather Seglin, the Cadet Chief Mate Devin Campbell, the Cadet Chief Engineer Kevin Trifoni, the Environmental Operations Officer, Megan Laurie. The Facilities Engineering Operations Officer, Jacob Goucher. The International Maritime Business Operations Officer, Cameron Fashibini. The Emergency Management Operations Officer, Robert McGran. The Engineering Systems Operations Officer, is Patria Swan. Student Government Association President is Colin Stevenson. The Senior Class President is Jennifer Nalette. The Community Service Officer is David Moore. The Inclusion and Outreach Officer is Jalen Powell Bartley. The Intramural Officer is Malik Carpenter. The Student Trustee is Joseph Heath. The 1st Battalion Commander, Connor Finnerty. The Executive Officer, Luke Bridges. The 2nd Battalion Commander, Matthew Hall. The Executive Officer, Allison Brantley Collins. 1st Company is commanded by Emma Sullivan. The Executive Officer, Alexander Monterey. 2nd Company is commanded by Matthew Teitelman. The Executive Officer, Patrick Cook. Third Company commanded by Casey Fisher. The Executive Officer, Stephanie Robbins. Fourth Company commanded by Lexi Bucko. The Executive Officer, Corey McLaughlin. Fifth Company commanded by Thomas Modula. Executive Officer, Bruno Vogrig. Sixth Company commanded by Philip Holler. The Acting Executive Officer is Mitchell Saraceno. Seventh Company, commanded by Brian Gill. Executive Officer, John Nero. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the National Anthem and remain standing for the invocation offered by Cadet First Class Brian Gill. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh who saved us that star-spangled banner yet wave. 
Let us pray. God of all creation, we thank you for gathering all of us today for the Massachusetts Maritime Academy Change of Command Ceremony. May you bestow your guidance and blessings on all of us today so that we can enjoy and appreciate its significance in our lives. Thank you, eternal God, for our parents who provided each of these young men and women with leadership throughout their lives. The sacrifices you have made for us will never go unnoticed and unappreciated. They have been given an A plus in parenting. For those who lead us at the academy, for all administrators, teachers, and professors, we thank you for giving up your time and using your talent to form the leadership that runs this academy. We thank you for all you have done and continue to do. Eternal God, we thank you for the 2019-2020 Cadet Leadership Team and the guidance they have provided for the next generation of leaders. Their guidance, dedication, and leadership over the past year has helped shape the future of our academy. We ask that you watch over, inspire, and enable this new cadet leadership team. This year marks the 129th anniversary of Massachusetts Maritime Academy. As we celebrate Change of Command, we look down the previous line of leaders. We thank God of all creation for the success you bestowed on them. You have been our shelter for all time. Let us remember those who have died and all alumni on this momentous day. God the Creator mourns for us through this tragic pandemic, weakening and enabling us to serve one another with gifts of abundant leadership. We ask you to bless everyone present today and that each may be able to share what he or she has for your glory and honor. Grant good health, safety, peace, and goodwill to all at home and around the world. May today mark the continuation of the success of cadet leadership at Massachusetts Maritime Academy. We ask all of these in your name, amen. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Charlie Baker, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, who will now give his address. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker here. And I want to start, first of all, by just congratulating all of you for being a little part of the history of Mass Maritime Academy, a very special place just populated with really wonderful people, faculty, staff, students. I spoke there at the graduation a few years ago, and I have to say how much I enjoyed the chance to spend some time with the kids that were graduating, with the families who were just bursting with pride at the success and accomplishments of their children, and the faculty and the administration who obviously felt exactly the same way. It's a really special school, but you already know that. That's why you're there. And today, I just want to say how much we, as a commonwealth, appreciate your commitment to everything that Mass Maritime is about. Today, of course, is about the change of command with respect to the regimental commander. And first of all, I want to start by congratulating Nathan Marrera for a job extremely well done. And I want to say to Dominic Bakari, Good luck. You have some big shoes to fill there, but I have no doubt that you'll be able to do so and do so exceptionally well. It's a great school. It's a great place. You have a wonderful leadership culture, and the people who come out of that school, they do great things. And you all are part of a very special fraternity, sorority, community that's made up of wonderful men and women who get it. And I wish you all nothing but the very best in whatever life may send your way. God bless and good luck. Thank you, Governor. It is now my pleasure to introduce Rear Admiral Francis McDonald, President, Massachusetts Maritime Academy. Thank you, Commander Panera. Regiment of Cadets, Academy faculty and staff, members of the Board of Trustees, members of the Academy Foundation, family and friends, I am honored to be here with you this afternoon to celebrate, albeit virtually, the Massachusetts Maritime Academy Change of Command. This truly marks a first for our 129-year-old institution, and it damn well better be the last. To our fourth class, I say congratulations for working your tails off to get to this point. You stand here today just 10 short months from that late August evening as you completed orientation. 
in a far different spot academically, regimentally, and as responsible citizens of this commonwealth, of this nation, of this world. And given the colossal challenges that we are facing from Wuhan, China, to Minneapolis, Minnesota, this world needs responsible citizens. Moving forward, I encourage you not to sit idle on the sidelines as your leadership opportunities emerge. A huge part of the value that you take away from this academy is what we call our leadership laboratory. To forgo this valued component of our educational formula is to forgo opportunity. Be part of the solution, be part of something special, get involved. To the rising juniors, here I will borrow a quote from President John F. Kennedy, who once said, leadership and learning are indispensable to one another. From your current vantage point, you may not fully understand this connection, but I assure you, as you avail yourself to the cadet officer program and begin to take on the responsibility for the well-being of others, I am convinced that you will ultimately see that link and that value in this connection. Best of luck with your new leadership positions. Now for the members of the class of 2021, our rising seniors. Over the past three years, like so many of our cadets, you have volunteered thousands of hours to assist those in need, be it at our annual foster kids picnic, Special Olympics, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Habitat for Humanity, or Toys for Tots, and the so many other incredible programs that this regiment supports throughout the Commonwealth, the nation, and the world. Now you stand ready to volunteer even more of your time, perhaps tenfold, for the next entire academic year to lead our great regiment. As you do, I offer you the following advice. Lead by example more than by words. If you find yourself always having to shout, you're probably doing something wrong. Hold those in your charge to a high standard and hold yourself and your peers to an even higher standard. If you err, err on the side of compassion and know that with this great power comes great responsibility. On behalf of the entire Academy community, let me say thank you for stepping up and congratulations on your new positions. And let me conclude my remarks with the Regimental Commander Nathan Morera, our senior cadet officers in the entire class of 2020. I say first and foremost that whoever said fellowship is more difficult than leadership, has never led. I am certain that given the hours, the effort, the passion which you poured into your cadet leadership roles, that you would wholeheartedly agree with me. Secondly, please know that I stand here today in absolute awe of you. You have worked tirelessly to mentor, to shape, to lead the largest regiment in the Academy's 129 year history and you have done so in the grips of a worldwide pandemic. What you have accomplished as leaders this past fall is impressive enough, but what's even more remarkable is what you have been able to do to lead our great regiment during this crisis these past few months. You have toiled to complete your studies far removed from Buzzards Bay while concurrently keeping the connection to those in your charge. I am convinced that we will see strong retention numbers from the underclass thanks to your unrelenting efforts. You have endeavored to get all first year cadets to clear the high bar that we set, both academically and regimentally. And you have labored from pre-dawn to well after dusk, day in, day out, to make your academy better, stronger, more vibrant. For that, we are forever grateful. On behalf of the entire Academy community, let me say quite proudly, thank you for a job very well done.
Thank you, sir. First class, Nathan Moreira, the current regimental commander, will now give his address. Hello to all friends and family within the Massachusetts Maritime community. And thank you for joining us at Change of Command 2020. Due to obvious circumstances, this year's ceremony has been adapted to ensure the health and safety of our guests here at Mass Maritime. My deepest gratitude goes out to Captain Rozak and the rest of ComCAD staff and senior leadership cadets for helping us make sure we carry it on with the ceremony and make it as spectacular as it always is. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to everybody that has helped me get to this point in my life. This year has definitely been filled with many ups and many downs. But without your constant help and support along the way, I wouldn't be half the regimental commander I was. I appreciate you all so much. My fellow cadets in the class of 2020, we have finally made it. The circumstances and obstacles we had to get through have been like no, have been like no class before us. But that just shows what kind of character we truly have and, and emphasizes how special our accomplishments really are. I remember it like it was yesterday, arriving on campus for orientation. Never did I think I'd be in this position today, but this is not about who I am standing here today, but rather the journey it took to get here. I've made lifelong friends, created great memories, and will be leaving a piece of myself behind here at Buzzards Bay. Through good times and through tough times, it was an honor coming up with you. To the new leaders of the classes of 2021 and 2022, it is your turn to answer the call and lead this amazing regiment. Fulfilling new roles and starting anew on any front is always a daunting challenge. But always remember, you were chosen to lead this amazing regiment for a reason. When I look at all the new leaders, all I can think of is one thing, and that is hope. I hope you lead with integrity, passion, and authenticity. I hope you enjoy your highs and learn from your lows. I hope you impact lives for the better. But most importantly, I hope you have fun. Believe in your colleagues, believe in your amazing leader, Mr. Vicari, and most importantly, believe in yourself. Before I leave and finally give up my reins to the amazing Mr. Vicari, I preach to you all a simple yet effective notion. Always look on the bright side. It is easy for us to submit into a pit of negativity and fear in the times we are currently living in. This pandemic has changed the way we live our lives. The tension between races is at an all time high. We all feel somewhat powerless. However, if we seek to learn from one another, we will seek and find the light during dark times. Even though there is a pandemic that continues to threaten the lives of the most vulnerable, we must continue to keep one another safe and strive for a cure. Even though there are protests and outcries for justice, there are people from all backgrounds united to fight racial and systematic injustice. So we must remember to hold hope in humankind because that is our truest source of light, even in our darkest times. Lastly, it is necessary that during these times, we unite to show how much we care about equality and justice. Because at the end of the day, you and I are not so different at all. Thank you and go Bucks. The ceremony that's about to take place is a time-honored tradition of change of command when the outgoing commander passes the regimental colors to the incoming commander. Before the passing of colors, I'd like to congratulate and thank First Class Moreira and his staff for an outstanding performance during the 2019 and 20 academic year. Nathan. You should be very proud of your accomplishment and know that success has been the trademark of your tenure as regimental commander. You've made us all very, very proud. At this time, please direct your attention to the movement of the regimental flag. I'm ready to be relieved. 
I really do, sir. I stand relieved by second class Dominic Picard. Very well. Carry on. I assume command of the regiment. Very well. Carry on. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new regimental commander, Cadet Second Class Dominic Vicari. Thank you, Governor Baker, Rear Admiral McDonald, Lieutenant Commander Pinero, and Mr. Marrera. Ladies and gentlemen, traditionally the spirit of the change of command ceremony is generated by the families and friends of Massachusetts Maritime who gather to witness the next wave of cadet leadership take the reins. To my new teammates, shipmates, and friends, it disheartens me that you, surrounded by your friends and family, are not physically present to be recognized for your great accomplishments and formally accept your new responsibilities. With that being said, the sacrifice you have chosen to make, accepting your new role within the regiment cadets, is more important than ever. Over the next year, we will not settle for just moving the needle. To be honest, I'm not a very patient person, and the time for substantial change is now. Now is the time to prioritize and execute. Change someone's life for the better, leave your mark on the academy, and embrace personal growth. As we face challenging times, motivating and mentoring others is essential. True leaders are built through hardship. To the entire regiment of cadets, now is the time in your life where you must consider how you want to make an impact on society. In a time where nothing, and I mean nothing, is guaranteed, we must strive every day to leave the academy, our communities, and the world in better places than we found them. In the words of a former regimental commander, ultimately, you're not just doing a job, you're leaving a legacy. As we be begin to move forward from a global pandemic and address other major issues our country faces today, it's important to remember that Mass Maritime is just a small part of our journey, but an important one for sure. It is here where we must intently learn from others and challenge one another to never be complacent. Over the next year, utilize the regiment, your classes, extracurricular activities, and your shipmates to gain valuable knowledge and experience that will last a lifetime. I am truly honored and humbled to have the opportunity to command the regiment cadets through an unprecedented moment in history. Embracing servant leadership, teamwork, diversity, and some serious creativity, my team will work tirelessly to craft new initiatives with your best interest always as the top priority. Over the next year, I ask that you constantly remind yourself why you chose to attend the Academy. Strive to better yourself and those around you, and embrace being a part of Bigger Than Yourself on Taylor's Point and beyond. I'm looking forward to a great year, and I cannot wait to see you all on campus soon. Thank you, and go Bucks. In closing, I'd like to say thank you once again to First Class Moreira for a job well done, and to Second Class Vicari. You and your staff will be challenged and challenged some more to think outside the box and re-engineer the way the Regiment of Cadets will operate during the 2020 and 21 academic year. We are very confident that under your leadership, the end result will be nothing less than exceptional. The Regiment of Cadets is now led by the following second class cadets. Regimental Commander, Dominic Vicari. Training Ship Commander, Jeffrey Gallo. Executive Officer, Madison Coughlin. Operations Officer, Michael Newman. Adjutant, Ainsley Dean. Training and Retention Officer, Colleen Sullivan. Cadet Chief Mate, Kyle Bastarashi. Cadet Chief Engineer, Tobias Nash. The Environmental Operations Officer, John Carey. The Facilities Engineering Operations Officer, David Tarbax. The International Maritime Business Operations Officer, James Stacy. The Emergency Management Operations Officer, Brenna Furtado. The Engineering Systems Operations Officer, William Rigby. 
the Student Government Association President, Cameron Crossman, the Senior Class President, Elisa Salorie, the Community Service Officer, Rachel McCown, the Diversity and Inclusion Officer, Jalen Todman, the Intramural Officer, Sawyer Lanfers, the Student Trustee, Anthony Petrillo, First Battalion Commander, Nick Salas, Executive Officer, Liam McLear, Second Battalion Commander, Alexa Huppy, Executive Officer, Robert McNulty Dub, First Company, Commanded by Dylan White, Executive Officer, Ferris Costa. Second Company, commanded by Lucia Buzel. Executive Officer, Hayden Dubois. Third Company, commanded by John Tian. Executive Officer, Sarah Barry. Fourth Company, commanded by Corin Ulrich. Executive Officer, Samuel Brown. Fifth Company, commanded by Wade McGillery. Executive Officer, Eric Martyr. Sixth Company, commanded by John Rafa. Executive Officer, James Fahey. Seventh Company, commanded by Nicholas Fernandez Cody. Executive Officer, Nicholas Mirabli. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our change of command ceremony. The MMA administration, faculty, staff, and the regiment of cadets I want to thank you for your unwavering support during these difficult times and wish everyone a very safe and healthy summer. Thank you for watching this special event from your homes.